Hi students, we are discussing international joint ventures and in this topic we are going to discuss a case study on the importance of cross-cultural management in international joint ventures. This is the case study about Beijing Lufthansa Center Company Limited. Uh, this is a, uh, a joint venture between a German company and Chinese government. Uh, the objective of this joint venture was to establish a logistical center for people coming from uh, uh, different parts of the world to China. Uh, China opened up its borders in 1978. China, uh, jo, uh, culture hai, Chinese government, they were quite closed up. They were not open to the rest of the world. But uh, in 1978, they uh, made up a, a policy to open up their borders in 1978 and welcome the international community. Um, then, uh, because they wanted to welcome the international community and particularly uh, the Western uh, countries, that is why, and, and because you know that the Chinese culture is very much different from the Western culture, uh, even the way they live, the way they eat, the way they interact with each other, uh, that is way different than the Western culture. So um, even their, um, uh, their living apartments, um, uh, their hotels, their uh, architecture, you have seen that, uh, you know, that uh, those cone structures and those canopies, that is so much different than the Western architecture. Uh, so that is why uh, in order to create a place where people from the Western world, from the rest of the world, they can come and uh, they can stay there, they can uh, find uh, things which are required for living, so shopping center and a place like hotel, apartments, uh, and all that. So uh, that kind of a logistical base was required to be built and developed in, uh, in, in Beijing particularly because Beijing is the capital of China and that is uh, where the things started to take flight from. So uh, in 1978, uh, the Chinese government opens up its borders and um, this contract was signed in 1986. Uh, so um, this is a German company, Deutsche uh, Lufthansa AG, and on the other side, it is the government of China. So an international joint venture was established to create a multifunctional service center and to serve as the logistical basis for international travelers. Uh, this Beijing Lufthansa Center is still uh, present in, um, in Beijing um, and uh, it has got three main uh, elements, three main parts of it. One is a shopping center, the second one is a hotel and the third one is an apartment complex. So it is a huge uh, facility uh, which is developed and based, uh, uh, developed and created in the Western style so that people from the international community, they can come and stay there and they can live there uh, and um, they can then move to the rest of the, um, uh, to the, to the rest of the country and uh, take flight from that particular logistical base. So this is a picture of uh, one side of that uh, complex, which is the Kempinski Hotel. Uh, and you can see this is something which is very much uh, uh, exactly like uh, the Western style architecture. And the facility looks like something which is very much familiar, uh, with which we are familiar. And this is the um, internal interior design of uh, this uh, complex.
and you can see that it is built according to the um, emerging and new trends of architecture and not something which is which looks culturally myopic all right so we are going to talk about the cross cultural management issues in this international joint venture so this uh, joint venture was the contract was signed in 1986 and it was launched in 1992 uh, this joint venture, uh, first of all, uh, what had to be done was to select a management team. Now, the contract required that uh, equal representation from both the countries. So, equal representation from the German and the Chinese government uh, was required in the management team. Uh, the Germans, uh, they set the criteria for selecting the people very differently from the Chinese uh, people. The German members were required to show technical abilities, industry know-how, understanding of the Chinese culture and language. So uh, it was objective, performance-based, performance-oriented uh, selection uh, of the German members. While on the other hand, Chinese culture uh, they are very much different in selecting and uh, and at that time particularly they had a very different culture and the things that they valued were status, uh, important contacts and informal relationships within the administration and the government. So China mein kaam karne ka ye tarika hai, jaysay Pakistan mein bhi yehi hai, ki aapke informal contacts joh hain, wo administration mein ho, aap kisi ko ja ke kahein ke, yaar yeh mera kaam kar do, toh tabhi aapka kaam hota hai, isi tarah China mein bhi yehi culture tha, ab wo westernize ho rahe hain aista aista. Uh, so Chinese, uh, they valued these things, that your status and your important contacts are, and if you have an administration and government, then you will have a good word with your important, uh, useful member. Consider karte Whereas German uh, company, they consider useful consider karte who have technical abilities or industry know-how, uh, uh, that is high. Um, so collaboration uh, in this kind of cultural differences was a difficult task. Uh, although they had the same common interest that they wanted to establish a, a multifunctional service center and they wanted to uh, people from all over the uh, from all over the world to come and stay there and uh, uh, take it as a logistical uh, basis. Uh, but when you um, are executing the smaller parts of a larger purpose, people tend to get myopic about their own perspective. So there were a number of things which led to conflict. For example, uh, there was uh, a conflict on uh, whether they should go for foreign or local suppliers in which um, the Chinese government wanted to go for cost reduction, whereas the Germans, because they are particularly very much quality conscious. They wanted to go for, co uh, for, for quality. Uh, the Germans wanted to go for foreign consultants who had more technical knowledge, who were more expert in their fields, whereas the Chinese government, they wanted to go for local consultants. Similarly, need of expatriates uh, was highlighted by the German managers and members. Uh, uh, therefore, and um, on these uh, bases, on these elements, negotiations had to take place between the German members and the Chinese members. And these negotiations, they were time consuming. And that means it would affect the performance or the success of the project. Uh, on, the, uh, um, uh, on the aspect of decision making, uh, the contract stated that the general manager would be responsible for the day-to-day -day operations. And general manager was supposed to be a German person, but in the contract, it was written that the general manager is going to be supported by a deputy who is a Chinese. Uh, supported by a Chinese, ka matlab ye tha, 
कि जो भी डिसीजन करना होता था जनरल मैनेजर ने जो चाइनीज़ डेप्यूटी था वो उस डिसीजन को मैनिपलेट करने की कोशिश करता था वो उसके अंदर ऑब्स्टिकल्स क्रिएट करता था वो उसके अंदर क्वेश्चन रेज करता था एंड देयर फोर जो जनरल मैनेजर जो कि रेगुलर डे टू डे ऑपरेशन करने की पावर रखता था वो जो डेप्यूटी है उसकी इस रोल की वजह से वो उसके पावर्स जो थे वो बहुत हद तक महदूद होके रह गए सो so, इस वजह से जो जर्नल मैनेजर था वो डिसीजंस नहीं ले सकता था और डिसीजन मेकिंग वाज आल्सो स्लो डाउन सो कलेबरेशन वाज स्लो डाउन एंड डिसीजन मेकिंग वाज स्लो डाउन सो इट टर्न आउट दैट द लॉयल्टी एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द पीपल कमिंग फ्राम टू डिफरेंट कल्चर्स प्लेड अ डिफिकल्टी रोल Uh, basically the german managers they were more loyal to their own culture and to their own organizations and the chinese managers who were coming from the chinese government they were more loyal to the chinese government rather than being loyal to the international joint venture which was supposed to be a, a multifunctional service complex so they were not able to let go of the values and culture and traditions and the way work is done uh, they were not able to let go from the chinese side similarly germans they were not able to let go of their own values and culture so that is something which uh, posed a lot of difficulty and when people they come Uh, come together from two very strong different cultures and have got loyalty with their own organizations although loyalty is something which is really good but it posed a difficulty in carrying out the objective of the international joint venture which was different from the objectives of the companies or the organization from which the people of the IJV they were coming from so this is something which needed to be taken care by the human resource managers if the human resource managers had been given a, a strong and focused position in that uh, particular uh, joint venture they would have been able to create a collaborative environment first of all and then uh, move ahead with the joint venture nonetheless the joint venture because it was a project and not a uh ongoing company the project was completed successfully and the beijing lufthansa center was opened up in 1992 but a number of cross cultural issues they emerged that created difficulty and that could have been solved better if human resources and human resource managers were given more due importance in this particular uh, enterprise